Two exciting things happened recently, at least they were uh, exciting to me and important for my life. The first one is that I finally got the Lazada Thailand shopping application to work. At least I could download it to my new phone and the whole app came up in English so I was able to navigate it and fill my shopping cart with all these little items that I needed for my GoPro and my, my life of technology here in uh, Mesot. Um, and then when I placed the order, the payment went through. And I always have trouble with payment because my bank in Canada is super concerned about security and fraud and this sort of thing. And their computers instantly flag any transaction taking place outside of Canada as potentially fraudulent. And I've never been able to fix this problem. So every time I try to use my credit card online, it gets rejected. But this time, for whatever reason, I filled my Lazada shopping cart with all these little items that I mentioned. I hit, you know, place order and check out, hit the payment button, and it went through. So two or three days ago, all these little packages started to arrive. And I didn't feature them in a video because they weren't very exciting. They were just kind of little adapters, little things that I needed for my GoPro, little um, mounting options that broke when I've been using them and I needed to replace them. So I didn't really talk about those. But then I went on to find a very exciting item. And that's what's in this box here. It just arrived like 15 minutes ago. And this is a new mounting system from a company in the United States called Ram Mounts, R-A-M Mounts. You can go on their website and uh, check them out. They build heavy duty, apparently heavy duty, very durable mounting systems for people that want to mount tablets or smartphones or action cameras, um, all kinds of items on motorcycles, boats, uh, any kind of mounting option you can think of. And I've been looking for something like that because in the future, if I ever get back on a bicycle, I wanted to mount my GoPro on the handlebars of my bicycle. And right now I'm driving a scooter around Thailand, um, or around the area, around Mesot anyway, and I'm trying to figure out efficient ways of mounting my GoPro on the scooter and then in the future on a bicycle. And I think, I'm hoping that this system from Moto Mounts is the system I've been looking for. But I don't know. With, with these sorts of things, it's really hard to tell whether they'll work or not until you actually get one in your hands. So I didn't order all the items I would eventually need. I just ordered one mounting system and one kind of extension bar, and that's what's in this box, I hope, and I'm gonna check that out. But I also ordered something from Ulanzi, which is uh, currently my favorite uh, GoPro accessory company in the world. They make really uh, interesting things, and they're very well designed, everything they do at Ulanzi, and that is what is in this box, and I believe, or this package, and I believe what this is, assuming the order was correct and, and I got the right item, is a mini tripod ball head. And the reason this is important is because the standard GoPro mount, the finger mount, only tilts in one direction, forward and backward. So if you mount your GoPro on your scooter, it can point straight ahead or straight back, and that's it. There's no way to turn it left or right, and there's no way to tilt it on, on those other angles. So in order to get the scooter pointing where I want it to point and to get it level, it's really hard to do with the standard GoPro system. And my original solution, before I discovered this, was just to take a photography mount, like a tripod ball head mount, a, a mini one, um, and use it on the GoPro, and then I should be able to mount the GoPro on my scooter and then point it in any direction I want. So that's uh, the first one I'm going to open. Then I'm gonna open my Moto mount, Ram mount. And then I got a mystery bag, arrived at the same time as these other two. And I have no idea what this is. I don't think there are any other items that I ordered 
So I don't know what's in here. Maybe I ordered it and forgot about it. Maybe it's connected to one of these items. Maybe someone else sent me something exciting. So I'm gonna save this one for last because it's a, a bit of a mystery. Okay, let's get started with the Ulanzi mini ball head mount. I've never seen one of these in real life, so I have no idea what uh, this is going to look like. A strange thing, or not strange, but uh, a related fact is that I do have a tripod already, like a, a tabletop tripod, and it does have a ball head, which I could use on the scooter with an adapter, of course. <laughs> My life involves nothing but adapters. And one of these adapters I would need for that tripod ball head is one of the things I ordered in my first Lazada order. And it arrived and it works fine. The problem though is that is that is a kind of a full sized tabletop tripod. So the ball head is quite heavy. It's bigger and heavier than the entire GoPro. So that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this idea. So that's why I went on to order this mini ball head. There it is there. I, I haven't seen the front yet. So <laughs> you can tell me if I got the right thing. Is that a mini ball head? Yes. The U60 vlogging ball head. And this is quite a special one um, because if you look on the picture on the side, you can see a little attachment point, and that is what they call a cold shoe mount. So this ball head, you can put something on that uh, quarter inch, quarter inch 20 mounting screw on the top. That's where my GoPro is going to go. And then you can put a microphone or any other, adapt, any other accessory in this cold shoe on the side. And I believe this top piece here, you can turn it over. So it actually is a, like a tripod mount, but then if you flip it over, then it turns into a uh, second cold shoe mount. I don't think I would ever have a use for that, but it's interesting that you can have dual cold shoe mounts on this. So you could use it in a studio, for example, and mount two different accessories on there. Ulanzi makes a whole series of these. There's the U30, which does not have the um, cold shoe mount. And it has a different tightening arm. It just has a knob and this one has a lever. And my idea is that the lever gives you more torque than the knob. So that's why I ordered the uh, U60. And from whatever I could tell on the website, the U60 and the U30 were the same weight. They weighed the same and the price was the same. So it seemed to make sense to go for the U60. They also make the U80, which is like this one, except it also has a quick release plate system on the top, a Swiss Arca mounting uh, system. And that would be nice to have. It's very, very handy to have one of those. My tabletop tripod is a Swiss Arca mounting system with a removable, you know, quick release plate but that makes it significantly larger and heavier. So the U60 seemed like the best compromise. Wow, it's pretty solid. Anything else in there? Oh, okay, little, um, little uh, Allen wrench. Hmm, hmm, look at that. First impressions, very positive. It looks very well made, and I kind of expect that from uh, Ulanzi. Oh, okay, now I see what the, uh, the Allen key is for. So far that, that feels really good. So this is the cold shoe mount for a microphone and it has a bolt in there. So 
So you can use the Allen key to loosen that and then you can turn it to point in any direction you want. So if you've mounted a shotgun microphone on there, you could point it in the, in the right direction. And once you mount your GoPro on the top, you loosen this lever on the side and then this can move in 360 degrees. So you can angle your Go, GoPro and point it any direction you want. And it has a slot on this side. And if you drop it down into that slot, it gives you a perfect 90 degree angle if you wanted to set your camera in portrait mode and then landscape and then down into portrait. In terms of weight, it's actually, it feels heavier in my hand than I expected. I was expecting something um, lighter than that based on, but I think that will still work. The issue I'm facing is that once you add a GoPro to the top of this, plus a microphone and the GoPro microphone adapter, the unit on top gets pretty heavy. And then this, if it adds more weight, and then you put it onto a sticky mount on your scooter, it might add too much weight to the sticky mount. But I think we're, I think we're okay. All right, I have, a, I have a GoPro here along with a mounting system and, and I'll show you how this works. Well, here's my GoPro on a standard quick release uh, buckle mount. And first I'll, I'll illustrate the problem that I've been trying to solve with this new gadget of mine. So normally you've got this quick release buckle and then a quick release buckle mount here. This is on my uh, JAWS uh, flex clamp and you simply slide that in there and it locks into place, which is amazing. Assuming you want your GoPro to be pointing straight ahead all the time because when I loosen the thumb screw, the GoPro tilts backwards and forwards. And that's all it can do. I can't turn it to the side in any way at all. And I can't angle it at all to the left or to the right. It sits straight up and down and it points forward. And that's basically, like I said, all you can do it goes like that. And that's fine in some situations, but most of the time I want to be able to put the GoPro somewhere and then be able to point it in different directions and adjust it to get it level. And that is what this will do for me. So it's pretty uh, simple actually. You just, this um, particular Ulanzi cage has a uh, quarter inch 20 uh, tripod mounting system on the bottom there. So that, that comes in pretty handy for me because that's what I have mounted here. So now I take my Ulanzi and it just screws right into the tripod quarter inch 20 thing there. Like that. And now my GoPro goes onto the uh, mini ball head. Tighten that down. And now I have a system where just as with this uh, thumb screw on the bottom, the GoPro can tilt forward or backwards as far as you want, but I can also turn it to the side. This way, that way, you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a ball, right? So it basically can point in any direction. And what's really cool about this is if you mount this on a scooter or a bicycle handlebar, you might want it pointing forward to show the road ahead of you, but then you might want to turn it around so it's pointing towards you and backwards. And with every other mounting system that requires unbuckling it, tape removing it, turning it around, and then putting it back into place. But with this ball head system, it's pointing forward, and now I can just spin it all the way around. And now it's pointing this way. Maybe there's something interesting on the side of the road. No problem. Now it's pointing that way. You know, now it's pointing that way. You can point it straight up, um, straight down. Basically, anything you want to do is now possible with this uh, ball head. And 
it has this cold shoe on the mount. I'm currently using my um, Rode Wireless Go microphone and it all of these have a buckle on the side and this can now slide directly into there. So, I mean, <laughs> come on, how convenient is that? That is amazing. Hmm, that is very cool. That, that went into place very nicely. So any accessory that has, a, you know, a cold shoe kind of mounting system just can slide directly into this attachment point there. I'm very, very pleased with that. I couldn't, I don't think I could be more pleased at the moment. The um, key, of course, will be to find out how solid this is in terms of vibration. It wor it's working fine now because I'm just sitting at a picnic table. But now if I'm out on the scooter and it's you know, bouncing along the road, can I tighten this ball up enough that it's not going to uh, that it's not going to move. So that will be the true test. But it feels very solid, and I have a lot of experience with tripod ball heads. And assuming you get a half decent one from a you know a brand branded company, they're they're usually rock solid. Um, they're not going to move around on you. All right. So I think that is it for the Ulanzi U60 vlogging ball head, the mini ball head. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that overall. Can't wait to, uh, to try it out. Okay, that was very exciting for me. Now on to uh, the next package with the RAM mount system. The funny thing is, I don't know if this happens to other people, but this happens to me all the time that I'm looking for something that I need and I'm looking for the most suitable one for me, the best system, the best item to solve whatever problem I'm facing or whatever, you know, whatever it is I want to do. And then I can never find the perfect thing, but then I find something that's pretty good. I order that thing, which in this case is the Ulanzi ball head. But as soon as I place the order for that thing, then I find something that might be even better. It happens to me every time. I look for a long time for something. I finally make a choice and I buy something. The minute after I buy that thing, then I find the thing that might have been better. Like every single time that happens to me. And that kind of happened in this case, that this solved my problem. And right after I purchased, I put in the order for that Ulanzi ball head, then I came across this company from the United States, which I had never heard about before in all of my searching online for a mounting system for bicycles and scooters. I never came across this product. And I honestly could not tell you why, because I did a pretty thorough search and yet I never came across this product before. So <laughs> it might be that this is so good I don't even need the Ulanzi ball head anymore. I might end up ordering two of these because I, I have two GoPros, right? And uh, right now what I can do is use one GoPro on the Ulanzi ball head, and then I can use this for the second GoPro. But if this turns out to be um, much better, maybe I'll open it from the bottom, um, I may end up ordering a second one of these and I won't use the ball head. I'll still use the ball head in my day-to-day -day life, but I may not need it for mounting on a scooter or a, uh, on a bicycle. Ooh, okay. That's one difference already. I can feel it. That's, um, it's got more weight to it. Oh, and that, that's just the extension arm? Whoa. Okay, this is going to be very interesting, as I said, because I've never seen one of these and I don't know anything about it. I ordered two items. I don't think you'll be able to see very much in that picture, but this is the mounting system. And the cool thing about the RAM mount system is 
I don't actually have to adapt it to the GoPro system because they offer their system with a GoPro mounting base built into it. And then they have an extension arm right there. Okay, order form. Use RAM mounts with bicycle, car, motorcycle, and automobiles only. For protecting your equipment, you should use a tether for making an equipment to be strong. <laughs> this was obviously written by someone not at RAM, uh, not, at the, not at the headquarters in the United States. We do not recommend using with other weird equipment. I like that. Before deciding to purchase, please read all detail. Anyway, this was written by someone at the company um, Moto Mount here in uh, Thailand, in Bangkok. <laughs> this is so exciting. Yeah, I don't think I can describe this system in words. Um, it's just too, it's a bit unusual. And how it's going to work in real life, I couldn't tell you. comes in a plastic bag. This is a little bit disturbing. It's actually been torn open, so there's an actual hole there. So something has could have been removed <laughs> or added. I don't know why one would normally expect a, a sealed bag, of course, but um, for whatever reason, this has already been opened by somebody. That. And that and that. Oh. How is that? Go oh, there it is there. Okay, okay. Ah, maybe that's what this is. I feel like I'm missing something. Anyway, boy, yeah, this is pretty complicated. So I don't know how much I can show in this video, but it comes with a GoPro buckle mount. So that is the starting point for the whole system. And then, oh, I see. No, no, I'm not missing anything. I, I just figured it out. Okay, so this clips into the GoPro system. And then, basically what this is, is another ball system. So just like the mini uh, tripod, it has a big plastic ball at the top. They have different sizes, depending on the weight of the object you're trying to mount. They have the uh, A size, no, maybe there's an A. But I know this is B, so this is one inch across. The C size is one and a half inches in diameter. So those are, those are really large balls. And then when you tighten down your handle, it really grips that ball. And this is very unusual material. It's aluminum, but it has kind of a rough textured feeling to it. And I think the ball is the same yeah, it's actually, it's a rubberized ball, so it gives you a very strong grip. Now, at first I thought something was missing because I didn't see how to attach this to this, but it has a bolt on the bottom, and then the bolt just clicks into there, you know, slides into the base, and then it has a whole bunch of different um, bolts. And you only do that one time, that's a one-time uh, mounting uh, process. Hmm. A couple of odd things. It, it looks a little bit worn, which is not that pleasing to me. The, uh, the handle seems to have been roughed up, like it's already been used or something. It's been kind of scraped a bit on both sides, actually. 
or maybe that's just the nature of the um, of this material, this rubberized uh, aluminum. Okay, other than that, first impressions? It's kind of weird actually coming right after the Ulanzi thing because that Ulanzi is made out of like polished, beautiful looking aluminum. I mean, it looks like a work of art almost. This is designed to be tough. They're not really worried about the aesthetic. It's just designed to work. And I can see that having an advantage because for one thing, you might be out in rain, um, dampness, and this is all clearly, you can just have this out in, in, the, in the weather. It can be rained on and it's not gonna damage it in any way. And you can feel it, that it clamps down hard. This is not going to go anywhere at all. Hmm. One difference and something that I'll probably have to get used to is that this handle that clamps down, it clamps down on both sides at the same time. So if it's sitting in position and then you loosen this, it, it both loose the ball on the bottom and the ball on the top both loosen at the same time so the whole if you're not careful the whole thing could just kind of flop over in ways that you don't want so you basically have to it's a two-handed operation you basically have to hold it in place and then tighten it down but I can see many advantages to this system over the over using the ball head for one it easily points to the side as well. The mini tripod ball head just points straight up and down and this part turns, but this rotates on the top and on the bottom. So you can actually put the handle off to the side and then raise that up and move it around. So it's actually much more maneuverable within space. Okay. All right, yeah, this is, uh, this is something else. I'm starting to, starting to dig it, other than the bag being pre-opened and it being kind of scuffed up a little bit. I'm pretty pleased with what I'm seeing. We'll have to see how durable this is. I've actually had a few of these GoPro buckles break recently as I tried to slide them into position. These little lever arms on the side just snap right off. And with a normal GoPro, that doesn't really matter because you can just pick up replacements everywhere. But if this breaks, I'm kind of stuck. So anyway, this is the system. I'm not going to assemble the whole thing right here on camera. I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. And they make a whole bunch of other items. So this is the small um, arm. I don't know if it's called an arm or not. What do they call it? Well, that's in Thai, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that says. Also in Thai. But yeah, it's like a, an arm, and then they make a small one, and then a medium length, and then the long one. The longest one is about six inches, and that's what's in here. And this is a surprise to me because that is heavy, much heavier than I expected. Whew. It's one thing to be durable, but man, does not have to be, <laughs> doesn't have to be bulletproof. I don't think uh, Superman is going to be uh, coming at me. Whoa. Huh, same thing. The whole bag has already been opened all over the place. Maybe that was a, a customs thing when it came into the country, or maybe there are items in here. Okay, that, uh, uh, I'm not pleased with that off the top of my head because that's way too heavy. Okay, it's just telling you made in the USA and then a whole booklet of all of their various products and systems. 
boy. Pokey doodle. What is going on here? <laughs> Look at that thing. Did I order the right one? It looks, it looks too big. That's, that is crazy heavy. Uh, let's see how this works. So the idea is, you know, that ball is your mounting system and it's a dot, it can go into every other one. So that clamps on there. That is, um, <laughs> and then the other, uh, and the other ball, that's what I mean about it. It loosens both sides at the same time. And the bottom has a spring. Yeah, this is really complicated. Um, it's kind of hard to uh, understand how it all works without being here, playing around with it. So, yeah, the bottom goes in. <laughs> yeah, this is going to take some, uh, take some getting used to figuring this out. Okay, there we go. Got, now we've got them both in place. That's not going to happen. That's not a regular thing, them falling out. Whew. Okay, so that is the six inch. And that goes into the bottom there and that's... Um, in terms of design and what it can do, it's no different from this, except it's quite a bit longer, but that is so heavy. That is a big piece of, of aluminum. Maybe that's a, I guess that's a good thing if you're riding, you know, a BMW you know, Honda Goldwing, do they still make those? A Honda Goldwing motorcycle, you want something really heavy duty, but for my little GoPro life, that is a bit much, I have to say. Huh. Well, you never know. Maybe uh, I'll end up uh, just thinking it's the greatest thing ever when I put it on the scooter. But um, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can do some exercising <laughs> with this bad boy. Oh man, what is going on? I never expected. I'm not sure I looked up the weight. I just assumed since it's designed for an action camera, there's no way it's going to weigh five times as much as the camera does. But well, it's probably not five times, but that's uh, heavy and my main concern is not really the weight on its own, but the sticky mount is not designed. The adhesive is not strong enough to carry that kind of weight on an angle, you know, straight up and down, sure. But if there's any kind of side to side force on an angle, that's, that's just gonna pull it right off. So this may not be that useful. Hmm. All right, so that was a little bit of a uh, unhappy um, discovery. But we'll see, over time, maybe I'll, I'll come to appreciate the heft and it won't turn out to be a problem because Ram Mount also makes these claws. Um, the claw clamps on is very similar to the, the, the GoPro jaws that I have here, except it has a bolt in here that you can use the bolt to tighten it into place. And I was thinking of picking one of those up to go along with this system. Now I'm kind of glad I didn't because if it's as heavy as this thing is, then, then the system won't really be workable. This is okay. The small size, I can work with that. But this long size, I don't know what to do with that. All right. Whew. Yeah, we just have to put it on the uh, 
scooter and just uh, see what I can do with this. So, this I love. That's small and lightweight, and this might be the, uh, the better route <laughs> to go. This I don't mind, the short arm. I think that'll, that'll work out okay. This is a bit much. Oh, I almost forgot. One more package to open. I'll do that right now. I haven't quite recovered from my discovery of how big that, and heavy that long arm is. Man, that, that was a surprise. I guess I didn't do my research well enough this time. Um, but yeah, one more little uh, item here to open and um, I have no idea what could be in here. Gonna be a surprise. Oh, <laughs> candy. So it was completely unrelated to all of my um, GoPro stuff. Bigfoot Himalaya Salt Extra Cool Mint Candy Lemon Flavor. So, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea who, um, who sent me this. I, I, uh, as I said, in the past, I've gotten a couple of items in the mail that turned out to be bags of uh, candy. So either someone who watches my videos thinks I need uh, candy in my life. If so, thank you very much. I've enjoyed all of it. Or maybe it's a, yeah, just a, a marketing thing from a company. But I'm, I'm more than happy to share the excitement of opening up one of these and uh, trying them out. Ooh, actually they look kind of good. They're like um, lozenges, lozenges, a lozenge. Oh, let's try one of these. Himalaya salt, extra cool mint candy lemon flavor. Hmm. Bigfoot brand. And this is the same. So two packages of this. Hmm. I like that. That is very good. I first got all the uh, lemon flavor, the extra cool minty side. You can actually get the mint. It's got a bit of a menthol thing going on. And you can, you got the lemon. And I was wondering where the salt, where the Himalaya salt was going to come in. Now it is coming in hard now. That is Himalaya salty. Wow. And I kind of like that because I, I have a Dutch heritage. My background, uh, my family originally came from the Netherlands. And in the Netherlands, they're very fond of what they call salted licorice, double salt. And I grew up in love with this uh, double salted uh, licorice. So I'm used to uh, salty flavors. This is powerfully salty. That is something else. My mouth is like salivating insanely right now because of the salt. Wow, I've never tasted anything like that before. I've got the, the whole lemon minty stuff, that's normal, but this Himalaya salt, that is different. I can easily see some people thinking this is the greatest thing ever, and then some people thinking, Ugh, too much salt. I guess you'll have to, uh, <laughs> if you see it in the shops and you want to try it out yourself, be warned, they're not kidding around. Himalaya salt, they've, um, they packed in a lot of salt. That is crazy. It's hard to talk while eating this candy because there's, my mouth is producing so much saliva. That is funny. It's like I'm drinking. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I like it. I think that is like one of the, the more interesting uh, candies that I've gotten in the mail from Bigfoot. 
Okay, once this uh, candy is done, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and then sit down and uh, work through my new GoPro systems here. And we will see what will be the winner, the uh, Ram mount or the Ulanzi mini ball head. I'm pretty happy with this and I'm happy with the, uh, the short mounting system. The big arm, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know how returns work in, uh, in Thailand, but if I can return something, I think that might be uh, going back to the company if, if that can be worked out easily. All right, that's it for my unboxing. And um, see you in the next video, as always.